And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Teemo Lee. It's going to be our next Lee Sin deck. We're going to be combining Lee Sin with Piltover and Zon and all sorts of puff caps with Teemo. We got our main payoff for playing a bunch of spells, of course, is Puff Cap Peddler. Then they get poison puff caps for each one. And we want a lot of spells because that's what uh, that's how Lee Sin levels up, and we need to be able to play spells uh, to enable Lee Sin as well. We got a lot of good ones in here, and I, I like all of the different one-ofs that we have in this deck. Because, like, Key Guardian, this card could be really good at protecting Teemo, right? Like, you can you can play your key, uh, give Teemo your um, barrier, and then be able to hit him with Teemo, and other stuff like that, and it also filters through our deck. But it's not something that we need a lot of. Flash of Brilliance is, like, a zero-mana spell, so that can be awesome with Puff Cat Peddler. Like if we got like two Peddlers in play, that's awesome there. It's great with Claws of the Dragon being, you know, we we can like surprise our opponent by playing Claws of the Dragon and then, or sorry, Flash Flash of Brilliance and then like Key Guardian on a Claw of the Dragon for three mana and get Claws of the Dragons in play when they're not expecting it. Um, uh, but then it's also just a, a you know another way to turn on Lee Sin and give you another spell. We got a Rummage in case our Flash of Brilliant spell isn't very good, and then all of our little uh, burst spells with the Mushroom Clouds, with Clump of Wumps and Chump Wump and stuff like that. Um, we have some Spirits Refuge for just a little bit of Life Steal, and uh, yeah, so we got we got a, a lot of good spells. We have some good card advantage with two Deep Meditation, two Progress Days, so we can dig and find what we need. This one looks like it's going to be pretty fun, so let's play some Teemo Lee. We'll go play our five games over in Ranked. And let's see how we do. So we got four Lee Sin decks today. Um, we have... We just just played Lee Sin Zed. That one was pretty sweet, buffing up our Lee Sins. And then we'll be going Taric Lee with Gems. And then Twisted Lee with Bilgewater and Plunder and Nab and stuff like that. So four different flavors of Lee Sin. Trying out this, this uh, I guess not new champion, right? But the, the last champion that has been updated. All right, definitely mulliganing those. I'll keep the keep the thermogenic beam for a good removal spell. We'll have our peddler. We can have like twin disciplines protect the peddler. Um, Flash of Brilliance help give him some more puff caps and stuff like that. Not a bad hand. Good chance I'm not playing anything on turn one or turn two. Um, so I can keep the twin disciplines to protect Peddler. Bless the people and fear the heretics. <laughs> well, Thermogenic Beam, you're not going to come close to killing that Solari soldier. I guess I could gotcha that. But it's just a 2 2 right now. Not that scary. It's a little awkward of just all these expensive removal spells drawing the same cards. We'll see how it plays out. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. All right, this can block the 2-2. Two -two. So do they have Pale Cascade? If they attack with the 2-2, two -two, they have Pale Cascade. If they don't... All right, we'll get rid of the Elusive. They don't have any more mana. We don't need to worry about Twin Disciplines. A little surprised by that attack with the 2-2. A little surprised. They forced us to choose death or the blade. All right, so that's the Ephemeral one. So that's what they created. May not be using very much else with this mana. No, that only puts us to four. Darkness hides in my path. All right, get rid of that. Sure. Sisters. We're just gonna have that card do two damage to me. For two mana, basically. Like, I would rather Ephemeral the Stygian Onlooker. Because that thing can attack for four. Still got good removal for the champions. That's going to be the important thing, for sure. I don't really want to play the Chump Wump and then put down all defenses. And let them play, like, a, a Nocturne.
All right, uh, pass, I guess. Does let them attack with another ally, but if I just, yeah, if I just kill the Nocturne, then we don't get to keep this peddler alive too much. So while I could use Twin Disciplines, I want to use both of these things. And just get rid of both their things. Things. That's a good descriptive word. Yeah, chat's a little quiet today, Grace Club. But my, because we're streaming at night here, my Wednesday nights. They're they're a little quieter. Don't have all the usuals on Wednesday night. Very glad to see you here, though. Thanks for thanks for joining, Grace Claw. All right, so Diana's leveled up. Nocturne's not far away. Possible I should just be passing also, since they passed to me, and we're willing to end their turn. We'll see. I like just trying to get like this puff cap count really high before they draw another card. Okay, good. We got rewarded. Yeah, get some more of those. All right, Leeson, you're at six out of eight. I'm sorry I did not keep those puff caps now. <laughs> Guess I should have. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. Find your own light within the One mana, Diana. Yours is a light I cherish, my sister. All right, well, there's the Pell Cascade. The Solari brought this bloodshed upon themselves. This war is oh, I guess that's a thing. Could I have protected against that? No, not really. No. All right, GG's. I'm down to eight. That Diana card for a one mana card. That thing hits pretty hard. Card looked good. I mean, this all looks good. Keep it all. Get him, Timo. Armed and ready. Definitely glad that Timo can elude their blocker here. This hapless aristocrat is one that's really annoying to get around. Uh, so the problem with playing Puffcat Peddler here is that it, we don't have twin disciplines anymore to protect Timo. I guess I just pass. I miss my Freljord protection spells that didn't cost very much mana. Have a mushroom. Have three. I've heard about you. Okay, so while we could play Lee Sin this turn, I think that we do not, and we just hold up protection instead. So just gonna be attacking. With our Teemo. I mean, I, I guess I could attack with the Peddler, but meh. Alright, so that's their first Anivia. There they go! Use a little bit of our mana. A storm approaches. Thing's gonna attack and do one damage. Don't really like just casting Thermogenic Beam to kill Anivia. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. All right. So the the problem with killing Anivia is miscall. It's kind of a problem with killing Anivia. <laughs> Happen. 
I guess the good part about them drawing two cards is that's more puff caps. This will give me an opening to cast Lee Sin. Master yourself, master your enemy. These thermogenic beams are so awkward. They're just a spell that I can't, I just can't play them. I can't tap out. I just, I just can't cast them. So, I mean, I would like to give the Lee Sin Challenger, but... Could cast Twin Disciplines, I guess. We each died, then found hope. Tomorrow we rise anew. This conflict is all in the mind. Kind of rough. Yeah, I guess I'm just being too careful against the hapless aristocrat, aren't I? I guess I should just be attacking anyway with our other things. Those two sh things should just have attacked. Let's see where we're at. We're at three out of eight. Warm hearts and hot soups. No. Oh, that's definitely what I did not want to see. Yeah, that's definitely what I did not want to see. Because that that's going to uh, turn on these Agnivias again. I've always been a fun guy. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's better just to have two protection spells available still. Try to keep doubling up these puff caps. Welcome to the tipsy hour. What will you have? That must be nice. Ying Yue, you've been in my thoughts. Oh, Lee, you always did think too much. I will not hold back. Yeah, you definitely see Heimerdex coming back. Definitely see Heimerdex coming back. So all of our cards are going to take four damage. Looking like this, there's a good chance. I'll see this through. Good chance this is going to be a game. Let's see. Choose the right time to strike. I don't don't have any great options. Is all in the mind. Wrapped in cold silence. <laughs> yeah, we're just so awkward with just all those thermogenic beams. We really need more. Like we need like a progress day earlier. I would have definitely set up a progress day earlier. What a mushroom oh. help. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Their want. I can't even keep Lisa alive. Act free of doubt. My time. Who's gonna close up? Ugh. Beware the dragon spirit. Nothing escapes my watch. I wonder if our deck just can't play... Um, I mean, 
mean, I love that they just decided to draw all those cards. I don't really know why they decided to draw three like that, but I, I'm a very big fan of that. I wonder if we just can't play Thermogenic Beam. Maybe that's just a card you can't play, because it, it it just cost us so much mana, which hurts our, our other card draw spells and everything. I will not hold back. It's possible that's something we're not allowed to play. The dragon spirit awakens. Well, our enemies cannot hide. This could be awesome. My lands need me. Prepare yourself. They take this, go down to one. No. See, if, if they would take this and go down to one, we'd have a real chance with the puff caps. It's too bad. That's not true at all. Teemo's not only good with Sejuani. Teemo is still good in a lot of other areas as well. Alright, Heimerdinger deck. I just don't know if I want to keep all four mana cards. I do really like Chumplump, but... You know what? Let's do it. Let's just keep all four mana cards. Like, these aren't... These are still good turn five, turn six, and that kind of stuff. And I was, I was hoping that with our other cards that we would draw, that we would draw other things early. But I guess not over four. On that front, they passed also. We'll just pass. So I do want to get a Heimerdinger deck like this. I do want to give them a bunch of mushroom clouds. That's, that's what I was thinking with this, is like I want to give them all these mushroom clouds. Yep. Kind of keep my mana to protect Lee Sin. It. If I play Lee Sin, they can play Heimerdinger and then start playing spells. I do like Lee Sin challenging Heimer. Seems to be the problem. That's one thing I definitely like. Master yourself. I knew I should have played the Lee Sin, not the not the Chump Lump. Okay, they would have stunned it, stunned it anyway. So just have three mana left. Our enemies cannot hide. You never know what hit them. Hopefully they can't protect Heimerdinger. I'd be a little surprised, because it seems like that's what their deck is designed to do. Awesome! Alright, that's a big win. That is a big win. Steel Tempest could be decent. I could see playing a couple Steel Tempest. I could see that. Down to 16, that's fine. Have a mushroom! Have three! I heard about you! So I'm not going to keep Deny available if I start casting Mushroom Clouds, which is the bad news. The good news is they will have a bunch of Puff Caps. No, I think we just pass. I think if they let us go to the next turn, we'll be pretty fine with that. I love to smell the mushrooms in the morning. There they go. Success is planting your mushroom clouds. I'll see this through. Alright, draw your card. Go ahead. Draw your card. Get your puff caps. So, eight mana next turn. We get to Deep Meditation first to turn on the Challenger for Lee Sin. I guess it won't. Um. 
won't quite level up Lee Sin. Conflict is all as far as barrier goes and everything. I will not hold back. And Dragon's Rage and all that kind of stuff. Ugh. So I do want to play one of these things to level up Lee Sin, but I guess I just can't. Yeah, I guess I just can't. Prepare yourself. Choose the right time to strike. Run away, Mike! Hopefully we get to double up those puff caps. Alright, that still gives that gives Lisa in the barrier. We'll be leveled up and won't get to um, won't get to Dragon's Rage. Too late for the Dragon's Rage. So definitely feeling good about this one. They're down to just four cards. We have a better board. They also have 38 puff caps. We have more cards in hand. Definitely feeling good about this one. Yeah, I did spend a lot of resources on Teemo. What, what did they discard? Yeah, they discarded a Deep Meditation. Oh, wow. Conflict is all in that the is mind. a lot of resources. Imminently logical. Keeping Will of Ionia available. Round timer. Oh, that's a card, I guess. I guess that's a card. Hmm. We could hit Rummage with Progress Day, which would give the barrier to Lee Sin. Let's give it a try. I will not oh, the Thermogenic Beam. Ambition in time. Oh, five. That was pretty juicy. Another day in the field. All right, come on, Timo. Never know what hit him. Mean everything. All right, Timo doubled those up, sixty-two. That was a big time Timo draw. Entropy, a never ending cycle. You get this clump of lumps in here to block the 6 6. Yes, yes, I was hoping they would have a, a fast speed spell I would be able to respond to. I'm at 11. Uh. It's a close game. It's a good game. Battle of the Ionia PNZ. We'll have a pretty diff different focus. The only holiday with celebrating. Don't. Oh yeah, that's why. I was like, why are they sad at getting an 8-8 eight -eight stuff? But that's why they're sad. Right. Because they have millions together. of pup gaps. Think they can see me? Trundle Trindamir. I don't like these avalanches that they got going on. Um, twin Disciplines and Deny can protect 
Teemo, so maybe we just go with those. Will of Ionia with actually, actually, I mean, honestly, maybe this is just like an, an all-in Teemo hand. Um, you know, Will of Ionia does a great job of balancing Trindamir and Trundle and slowing them down. And maybe we're just all in on Teemo. Another day in the, field. the problem is Vile Feast. Uh, my opponent played uh, Progress Day. That was their last card. They just played Progress Day, drew three cards, and they got more than eight puff caps from those three cards because of how many puff caps they already had in their deck. So that's how that one finished up. Oh, can't deny that one. That's too fast to deny. Yep, ice to meet you too. Could cast the Mystic Shot. Glad we didn't. Really didn't have to have the one card. <laughs> Ugh. I didn't have to have the one card. I couldn't deny that, because that's like an avalanche that also gains them three life. So we're going to use the deny. And I'm glad I didn't... Yeah, I could have attacked and gone with a plus three, plus zero for the twin disciplines, but then just wouldn't have had very much other protection with us just having six mana. I'm glad we didn't do that. Casting that so it gets ice pillared. So again, the Teemo is not ice pillared. They grow up so fast. Don't have to have Avalanche. And I wish I would have got rid of that trundle with that thermogenic beam. I'll knock him down. Get ready for a beat down. Dang. Plus five, plus zero. That Concussive Palm can definitely help. We have been doing a good job of hitting our opponent with Teemos recently. Who would face me? All right, down to eight. This puts me down to two, but not dead. Okay, they're yeah, they're they're killing. Never mind, they're killing that thing anyway. All right. 
does seem like I lose to Atrocity basically every time against that deck. It's just always Atrocity. Think about Teemo. Teemo doesn't always get there, but whenever Teemo does get there, it's so satisfying because it is pretty difficult to get there with Teemo and Puff Caps. So it makes it so satisfying. The aggro deck, uh, this is going to be our toughest matchup. Um, because the decks that kill you really fast don't, don't draw that many cards for the Puff Caps to... Yeah, I yeah, I don't play around Atrocity very often. I don't know what I would, like, what I could have done differently that game to play around Atrocity. I don't know if there is anything I could have done. Reporting in. No one's the wiser. Gotta start taking those things down. This matchup's not about getting the best value out of our cards. It's about stabilizing the board. Staying alive. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'll have what he's having. Would a mushroom help? Damn it. I mean, I did cast, about the only thing is I did cast an early, only I, I cast an early um, Will of Ionia to slow my opponent down a turn and Got to use mana hot. that would have otherwise gone wasted, and that kind of ended up hurting me, because um, then I, if I would have had one extra mana, we would have been able to kill the Trundle with the Thermogenic Beam that we drew the next turn. Nothing like the this is just silly. This is just silly. This is why you need Avalanche, I guess. Gotta play the aggro deck or the Avalanche deck. Um. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Run while you can. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. I'm not giving them very many puff caps yet. Alright, well, we will be killing that thing next turn. Yeah. I'll see this through. I've always been a fun guy. So we'll be able to use the Lee Sin Challenger Another and the kill the gangplank. I have my orders. Our enemies cannot hide. Honestly, maybe I should. I actually should have just given gave, gave the Teemo. You know, of course, I'm I'm thinking that I want like their Teemo to hit them, but maybe I should have gave the Teemo challenger and killed this Legion Saboteur instead. I probably should have. That's actually something that kind of thought like right after I played that. Didn't think about it until after that. But yeah, I should have gave this challenger a kill that thing. Conflict is all in the mind. Conflict is all in the mind. Okay, let's see. So you can block here. You can block here. You can block here. Ugh, going down to one. So I can either... I think we just draw two cards again. Okay. So now I can either save Teemo or stay at three and Mystic Shot this Jagged Butcher. And I... Actually... Actually, I think it's better to the better to Mystic or to Twin Disciplines save Teemo. Teemo's gonna kill them a lot faster, so it'll give them less draws to kill me from being at three. 
No, we'll just go to three. Instead of going to one. Like, we can go to one and then have a fast clock. And obviously we're dead to things that do one damage to me. Or we go to three, have a lot slower clock. We're not dead to things that do one damage to me, but we're still we're still obviously dead to things that do three damage either way. War Mason, reporting for duty. Wow, Nazis great call by me. Ruined what they cannot understand. I need to remove, I need to hope that this is just a regular unit and I need to remove two of their things. So I think we need to go um, Sonic Wave here. Our enemies cannot hide. So I need to, I need to get rid of their things so they can't go wide. Obviously any spell that does damage to me, I, I die, obviously. I can't do anything about that. Um, playing this thing to just get more damage on them, try to kill them faster. Yeah. We'll put up a good fight. I think we put up a good fight in a lot of those games. Um, we, yeah, we did. We we did put up a pretty good fight in a lot of those games. Uh, just, it's difficult to win with Teemo. It's difficult, and we just didn't, you know, didn't quite get there. Um, there's nothing about the list that I didn't like, except for maybe the Thermogenic Beam. That that was really rough. That one game. Um, just because not only is it slow speed, but spending all of your mana, you kind of need to, you need to like save mana, right? Like that's something you have to do a whole lot is you got to be able to bank your spell mana, be able to keep, um, stay nimble, you know, be able to keep spells around, um, and everything like that. So I, I think I would move away from Thermogenic Beam and maybe just play like another Concussive Palm and another Will of Ionia and just play, play those cards. Um, I think instead of Thermogenic Beam moving forward forward. The aggro matchup is going to be your toughest matchup. That's just how it's going to be. So maybe maybe you just play an extra Spirit's Refuge to hopefully help you out with that. Um, but the, the aggro matchup is going to be your tougher one. It's it's like those those control matchups that I wish I would have won. Cause those, those slower control matchups, that's whenever your puff caps have time. <clears throat> that's when you have the extra turns. But I mean... When you're dead from 20 to 0 like this with, you know, a 5-mana card that attacks for 10 Overwhelm one turn and then 15 Overwhelm the next turn, and then even when you stun it with the 15, they just atrocity and you're dead. That's It's it's really hard <laughs> to stay alive from that. Um, all right, but there we go. That's Timo Lee. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Uh, those are always good. Um, you know, let me know what, what's your favorite version of the Lee Syndax or anything, any other version you want to see Lee Sin with. We also have a Lulu, Lulu Lee Sin deck that we'll be playing uh, shortly that we have a donation deck for. But anyway, that's it here for Timo Lee. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.